hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel in our today's video i will be making a loading button with react so let's get started without wasting any time uh, so here we have uh, a test app uh, basically a simple react app uh, running uh, it's just an empty app that we get after using uh, the create uh, react app command line tool uh, so the first thing we got to do is to uh, you know uh, create our component and uh, we're gonna create a folder for our components call it components and uh, create a new component in, in this folder we'll call it we'll call our component a loading button but yes uh, so i'll create a uh, simply just uh, the boilerplate code here so here we have a new component named loading button and uh, in our app js uh, we're gonna remove every everything of uh, in this header so once once we are done with that now we will import our our new component that we just created and we will yeah, so we have imported uh, our button i will pass in a few props here as well uh, i'm gonna pass in the title of the button so it has it can be anything but uh, i'm gonna use load data just to show you and another uh, and uh, another prop and this has to be boolean so it is gonna tell us whether we uh, we are showing the loading uh, spinner or not so it will be a boolean uh, for now for now we'll just pass in uh, true so that we can see if our uh, loader is uh, working or not so now we jump into the into our into our component here we also create our css file call it a loading button dot css and we'll just quickly import that file here as well so so now we come to our um, actual part so here we'll uh, change this div to a button yes yeah, so, uh, so now we go to our browser to see how it is looking so that is how it's looking uh, now now we are going to make some changes to this and uh, see how it turns out to be so we will quickly catch in our props from here in our uh, component so two props title and loading we place this loading button with our title yeah everything is working now now we'll work on our uh, css here uh, for a bit yeah so we will give our button a class of loading button And uh, we will change our background color to something more uh, cooler. So yeah, uh, I chose this color here. Yeah. So, so let's see how it's looking now. It's still looking terrible. We're gonna change the color of our text, and for that we'll say color. I hope you guys uh, know some bits of uh, CSS to start with. I'm adding a adding as well one ram and two ram this should look fine yeah it's look, it looks all right we should reduce this a bit yeah it's better and for to make it look better i think i i should arrange that range of a button in the center of the page just to show you uh, a bit better so we'll give it some here yeah, display flex and we'll give it we'll, we'll give it some height and for that we'll give it 100 view height so that it takes over the whole page yeah so now our button is in the middle and we got to style it we'll move the borders 
create add some rounding on the corners so for that we'll use border radius 10 pixel pixels is enough yeah much better yeah and uh, add some uh, hover effect as well for that i'm gonna use a uh, box shadow and uh, this website this website I, I use very often it's called css generator and uh, here they have a box shadow generator and from there i can simply style my box shadow yeah so i think this is enough yeah copy that and paste it here so whenever i hover over that but uh, hover over my, over my button its color should change yeah Zero, 0 I think I have removed the shadow completely 0.15 is I think enough yeah see uh, it looks it looks much better now no I think I I also got to change the color I'll change the cursor to pointer yeah so everything is okay here now I'm gonna import my uh, the spinner spinner is not mine in my directory so I'll just quickly add that to my directory so now once I have the spinner uh, gif in my directory I am just going to import that and uh, I'm going to import it like this import spinner from dot slash spinner dot gif so now I have the spinner imported properly so this is a tricky part here I have to add some logic here uh, so I will say if the loading is true then I am going to show my spinner and for that I am going to add an M I, uh, image tag and in the source of the image I am going to add my gif which I just imported and alternate text I think spinner is good enough and, and if uh, uh, the, it is not loading then I'm going to show the title of the button and for that I'm just simply I'll just simply say title and yeah that is it that's all the logic we need so I'll save it and see how it's looking I think I'll need to style yeah yeah so I'll need a bit it needs a bit of styling and also some logic on the on our app.js page so for the styling part i am just going to reduce the size of this uh, the spinner for that i am going to say um, max width should be around 50 pixels that is enough yeah i think 25 pixels will be enough here and now uh, what I will do is that I will go to my app.js file and here I will uh, create a new state just to manage the loading of my button on my data whatever so it will say loading and now set loading And I'll give it a default value of false and uh, yeah. add it here as well one more thing I forgot to add before is that on click on click function and that uh, has to be uh, simply an error function yeah so uh, I also got to add it here in my component so I'll say on click and I'll add that on click function on, on my button so, yeah so everything is uh, done with my loading button now I'll go to my app.js file and here I'll say on click I'll change my uh, set loading so I'll change my state to 
to whenever somebody clicks a button we'll load the data that is what i am assuming and so i'll set the loading to true and after that i will wait for my uh, back end or my server to respond with the data and then i will uh, change the change the uh, change the loading variable back to my uh, original state that is false so i am just uh, making a fake api call i'm just using a timer so that we can assume that it takes a couple it takes a couple of seconds to respond i'll say uh, yeah fake api call and i'll use set timeout for that set timeout so once the data has loaded i will what i will do i will just simply change my uh, loading uh, state to false again so i'll say set loading false yeah so that is completely load the data and the button will change back to its original state so that is theoretically how it should work and it should work now and why it is not working yeah oh, i forgot to replace that and it should be false here yeah so see it's working now and uh, once we click it will send an api request and it will wait for the request to respond and after the request has responded it changes back changes back to its original state uh, so that is all for uh, today's video uh, if you want more such videos then you can subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions for me or any request uh, you can put that in the comment section